Welcome to this edition of Rolling Sports coming to you from the Ironton Classic. And like I said in another interview, we are not just pulling out people who are familiar faces on the court. We are pulling out familiar faces that are in the crowd as well. And with me here is Akron football player Blake Hester. And Blake, it's good to see you here. And first off, um, talk about this event and the, the atmosphere. Uh, tonight it was great. I came and uh, I came to support um, Chris Barnes and the Ironton basketball team. You know, I played with uh, their uh, so Bryce and uh, Brandon and Blake coached me in middle school. So ever since then, we've kind of been a family. And man, I just love them. And shout out to Ironton for helping me and everything. And uh, just this is a great school. Mm -hmm. Yes, and you've got on, of course, to do quite well. You're playing at the next level now. First off, I have to ask you about this. You, know, you carried the ball um, against Ohio State. And you had a pretty good a game that not many have against Ohio State. You got some yards in that, and you got tackled by Reed Carrico. Talk about just what that was like getting to, to play against somebody local at that level. You know, I just think uh, it really highlights the level of football in this area. Um, sometimes I feel like it's being overshadowed, and obviously, you know, we're not the best. You know, there's areas better, but it, it, it just shows that there's kids in this area that will work hard, that will go out there and are able to achieve their dreams. And, you know, you know, playing Reed in high school was, was awesome, and, you know, playing Reed in college was awesome too. And how everything unfolded, it was almost like uh, – like it was meant to be, you know, mm -hmm. like it just should have happened. Like, you know, uh, so, I mean, I just think it's, it's really good. I think what, what we did is really good for the area, showing kids that they can go, you know, and play big uh, football, you know, Division One FBS football. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and talk about the Barnes as a man. I, I used to go to the Y when I was younger, you know, in, in middle school, sixth grade middle school, and uh, Ty Barnes would always be up there. You know, shooting, shooting every uh, every hour of the day. You know, making these fa moves 100%. And that was just like a little introduction of me meeting the family. You know, I I, I would go up there and like I was kind of mesmerized by Ty at first. You know, he'd he'd make everything. Like he wouldn't miss. You know, so I'm like, wow, this guy's awesome. And I would uh slowly start to um you know meet their whole family like Brandon, Bryce, and Blake as uh my eighth grade year or my eighth yeah my eighth grade year in middle school um Bryce. Barnes got the head coaching job, and uh, you know he brought on um, he brought Blake and Brandon and just you know really kind of changed changed my uh, perspective on basketball and like how much I enjoyed it and really and he really uh, he really cared for us compared to you know just some coaches not caring caring about you he really cared for us as humans he wanted us to do the right thing and he's just the whole family overall is just amazing you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and talk about now, um, talk about how you're doing at Akron, um, just how, um, you know, how you're doing with football and uh, and just really what your upcoming goals are. So, I mean, um, you know, last year I had that little breakout season, 300-plus uh, all-purpose yards, and this year, sadly, I, I didn't get that, um, but uh, I was, I made first team all-max special teams player, mm -hmm. um, and uh, I was top 50 in the uh, I was top 50 kickoff, uh, one of the top 50 kickoff return returns in the nation. So um, I just think anything I do, I always try to capitalize on the opportunities I'm given, and uh, I think I did that this year. One of my goals next year was obviously to be a key contributor in, on the offense in the rush game. You know, I, I want to go out there and show people what I can do. Uh, you know, I have it's hard, you know, my heart oversized any day, and um, I just want to, you know, show everyone, especially back here, I want to make them proud that I can go out there and get the job done. Mm -hmm. Talk about yeah. the training and then the importance of special teams at that level. Uh, I view training as, you know, I go in there and give it 100%. You know, anything I do, it's 110%. Uh, I don't take reps off, and I don't think, I don't want to do that to my teammates either. You know, I feel like. People nowadays always think about, man, I'm tired. But once you think about the people that are doing it with you, like you, you don't want to let them down either, you know. And uh, you know, special teams, like that's how I made a name for myself. That's how I even was able to get on the field my first year. You know, I was playing special teams, and then that, you know, that solely that solely shows the coaches that you you care about a team 
and that you care about winning. And that I slowly gained their trust to to finally put me in as running back. And I, you know, from there it just keeps building. And I I just kept trying, like I said earlier, um, capitalizing on my opportunities and uh, made the most of my of what they handed me. Mm -hmm. And um, and and talk about um, I have to ask competing against Ohio State. Um, of course there was a read, but you had around 50 yards I think offensively in that yeah, game. Yeah. Um, you know I I described it as like you walk in and you're you're a villain in a in a horror movie or you're a villain in a in a story. Like everyone in that stadium wants to see you do bad and lose and the best feeling is is when you prove all those you know people wrong when you have a good play and the in and the crowd's silent you know i think that is that is the most that is the best feeling in the world you can have when you go out there and you know seeing what like 90,000 people out there whatever rooting against you man like it just brings out something else in you you know you, you got to give it your a game they got you know they're out there trying to do do their thing too but I mean I, I'm honestly just blessed and grateful that I did have a game like that and I was able to go out there and perform in front of everyone mm -hmm. yes and um and Blake um lastly some of the questions I'll ask um just for the people watching to get you to know you better um first off with um with Ironton here at the classic um what is something you like um in particular about the tri-state area the best thing about the tri-state area is that we are we are um we are in length of everything, you know. I can drive 10 minutes, come play Ironton, whatever. I can drive 30 minutes, go play, uh, go play a team in Huntington. There's so much talent in the tri-state area, and I, and I really think it, it gets overlooked. You know, um, saying saying uh, I can drive 10 minutes to Ironton and it's uh, it's better because they're in Ohio just kind of uh, doesn't make sense to me when we play these teams every year. So I think just the tri-state general in a whole. Is just a is a pool filled with this t uh, talent, you know, and, and kids need uh, some some just an opportunity out out of the tri-state area. And talk about um, maybe if um, if your teammates, you guys get a night a rare night off, um, um, looking for something fun to do. What are some things that you like to do um, where you're at in Akron? Uh, if we get a night off, um, some of us will usually go play pool. Or uh, go bowling, or play ping pong. You know, mm -hmm. since all of us, all of us are really competitive out there, so we always try to find something that we're better at than the other person. And uh, you know, it's it's always pool, ping pong, or or bowling. You know, I, I'm not gonna lie here. I'm I'm not the best at pool, so that that's not that's not my game. I need to get on I, I need to get on the ping pong table or the or the bowling alley. <laughs> nice. And um and do, do you play video games much? Uh, here and there, I try not to. I I try to get my, my like you know my homework done, you know study for my study my playbook done before I even hop on the game at all. Right now, what are you thinking about doing upon graduation? So I'm majoring in uh, exercise science. Um, I'm really not sure what I want to do with that degree. I think potentially I want to be a strength and conditioning coach for for a high school or college program. I just want to. I want to affect people when I get older, and I want to help kids out because I think what I've done and my work ethic is a testimony of uh, who I am, and I think kids could really get behind that, and I could help them out. Well, Blake, we thank you for your time here, and be, be sure to stay tuned. We're going to have more interviews from the, the Ironton Classic, and be sure to check out. We have those games up still for My Town TV. If you haven't seen them yet, be sure to check them, check them out. We've had two out of the eight going to overtime. We've had several more that have been close. It's been an exciting event here. We thank you all for tuning in and watching Rolling Sports, where you meet the athletes.